and those wildfires that have broken out in Colorado are being fueled by record temperatures and high winds. There are some big ones. The largest is burning about an hour south of the city of Denver. This morning, several neighborhoods there are under mandatory evacuation orders. Let's get right to NBC's Miguel Almaguer. Miguel, good morning to you. Matt, good morning. The Black Forest Fire has cut a path of destruction here. This blaze has chewed across some 8,000 acres. Dozens of homes have been lost, and this morning the fire is 0% contained. Fueled by record-setting heat and low humidity, the Black Forest Fire raced through this Colorado Springs neighborhood. Flames consuming home after home after home. Up to 60 feared destroyed. The smoke plume towering thousands of feet into the air. As you can tell, weather is not working with us right now. Today, more than 2,500 homes are in danger. More than 5,000 people driven out by the flames. I drove home, uh, but they wouldn't let me in. But the smoke, I could see it from the north side of Denver. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Larry DeFrancesco evacuated with his family, but returned to help a neighbor get his horse to safety. The horse was totally freaked out. Tied into the back of my truck, dragged him out. Across Colorado, at least five fires are burning today. Near Canyon City, the Royal Gorge Fire has charred more than 3,000 acres. Locals fear for the area's iconic Royal Gorge Bridge, one of the highest in the world. I question how it could be possible for structures on both sides to be burning and for the bridge to survive. Across the state, resources are stretched thin. Back at the Black Forest Fire, more than 150 firefighters are on scene. This morning, dozens of homes are gone. A number of officials fear will only rise. On the front lines today, they are expecting another scorching day of temperatures. The big storyline this afternoon is going to be those winds. If they are calm, that will assist firefighters who have a heavy day of air attacks planned. Matt. All right, Miguel Almaguer in Colorado for us this morning. Miguel, as always, thanks very much.